that of many years, uh, Sam Brownback and his support of my nomination and uh, for president uh, and leader of the Republican Party. I've had the honor of knowing and serving with Sam Brownback for many years. We share common values, we share common goals. Uh, there is no one who is more respected in the United States Senate on the issues of integrity, of family values, of national security issues than Sam Brownback. He represents to me what honorable service to a cause greater than oneself is all about. Uh, he has a common, uh, a great sense of values, a great sense of our nation's national security needs as a leading member of the Foreign Relations Committee in the United States Senate. And I will be grateful to have his leadership of my campaign in the <coughs> weeks now, between now and uh, the Iowa caucuses here in the state of Iowa. Uh, Sam Brownback um, will be a vital member of my team as President of the United States. There is no more important uh, duty of a President of the United States than that of judicial nominations. Uh, some say that there could be as two or three vacancies on the United States Supreme Court during the term of the next President of the United States. I will rely on Sam on his guidance and wisdom on those issues, on agricultural issues, on foreign policy and national security issues, but most of all his advice on the core values, the family values that are the heart and soul of the United States of America. I'd like to say, I now make this announcement and express my deep appreciation and introduce the great senator from the great state of Kansas, Senator Sam Brownback. Thank you very much. And uh, today also, John and I share the same tie uh, as, uh, as well. It's great being back in Iowa, and uh, I enjoy that, and I enjoyed the time that I was presidential candidate. wish it could have gone longer. Uh, I know the other candidates. Uh, I worked uh, around them. Uh, it's a great field of candidates, uh, but to me, one stands out. And I'm here to uh, talk about that individual today. John McCain, I believe, is the best pro-life candidate to beat Hillary Clinton in the fall. That's right. And I took the objective of the fall. in the fall. Uh, and I've worked with this man. He has a pro-life record of 24 years in the United States House and Senate. He's pre best prepared to be the commander-in-chief in the war against radical uh, Islam. Uh, radical Islamists that we're in now. Uh, here's a guy we're right now implementing uh, the McCain surge, and it is working. And I had difficulties with this surge. I want to be. I want to confess that. Uh, if others wouldn't remind me of it, I want to confess it. <laughs> but this is a guy that saw it two years ago and called on it, and now you're seeing the progress taking place. And I, I love the sign I just saw: support our troops, let them win. Yes. John McCain wants him to win. And he's, he's, making it. he's the only candidate in the Republican primary with foreign policy experience. Uh, and to me, this is key. The next president of the United States shouldn't be learning foreign policy on the job. Needs to know it going in. And here's a gentleman that's worked on these topics and worked on it for some period of time. John's a proven leader, literally, with the scars to prove it. He's an American hero. And I don't think that's any small uh, small feat. No. Uh, when I was working on the farm in Kansas, this man was in a prison camp in Vietnam. Uh, and I know Iowans, as I think I know Kansans, uh, they have a great admiration for that. That you put your life on the line, and you fight for your country, and you do what's right, uh, and you do it even in hard circumstances. And, and people might say, well, I may disagree on this or that, but I respect that. Mm -hmm. And I have a great deal of admiration for that. And John McCain has done that. He's given himself tirelessly for our country. He is the most fiscally conservative candidate in the field. And I don't think a lot of people recognize this. This is going to start coming out more and more. John McCain was against earmarks before it was cool. Uh, he was fighting against these. And I was in some of the Senate caucuses when they were fairly 
terse comments put back and forth. And he was always the one fighting against the earmarks and saying this is bad for the party and it's bad for the country. He was in there and he was fighting on that a long time ago. And I appreciate that he was doing, uh, he's done that. Uh, he's the uh, best candidate of ours on Jay Leno. Uh, he, he's uh, been there and now with the Screenwriters uh, Guild strike, they can use John McCain and have him back on. <laughs> if you want change in Washington, John's the guy to do it. He has been in Washington, but not of Washington. He's gotten things done and he's the guy that will change things. And one of the most important things to me, he will appoint strict constructionists to the United States yeah. Supreme Court. That is one justice away from being able to overturn Roe versus Wade. Yeah. We need somebody that will stand by the Constitution, not rewrite it, and appoint judges to do that. John's the full package. There's not a better candidate running in the field. He's been well vetted, having uh, served and been on the campaign trail for a number of years. There are no surprises in this package. For all these reasons, it's my honor and pleasure, and indeed I believe almost my duty, to endorse John McCain for president of this nation that I love so much. And I would urge anybody that was supporting me and uh, considering supporting me to join on with John McCain's bandwagon. Thank you, John. I'm glad to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sam. Questions? <clears throat> Senator Brumbach? There have been a couple of endorsements in the last day or two from religious conservative leaders, each saying why they think a, a different candidate is best on, on some of these issues you've been talking about. What, why do you think there is such a difference of opinion in, in that community? Because you've got a, a wide open primary for the first time in a couple of decades. We haven't had an open Republican primary. Uh, and you have people looking at different candidates saying, I like this feature, I like that feature. I, I thought about it a long time. I uh, thought about it, prayed about it, uh, worked with the various candidates. There are a number of good candidates on our side of the aisle. I just think uh, John stands out uh, on his record and on the breadth and the full package uh, that's, that's, uh, that's here. And others uh, are looking at, at different individuals. Um, you know, that's the beauty of, uh, of having a wide open primary. There are people looking at different candidates. I just think John's the full package. Senator, what kind of exactly will you be doing for the McCain campaign? Campaigning, fundraisers, what other types of things? Yeah, I'll let uh, John. Well, as leader of our campaign, uh, uh, I will ask uh, Sam to devote some time campaigning with us, uh, particularly at, uh, in Iowa, but also in New Hampshire and South Carolina. Um, we intend to, we'd like to make some appearances together. Um, and on the policy side, he will be heavily involved in continuing our development on policy on, on a broad range of issues, ranging from family values to foreign policy and national defense, national security. So um, we're asking Sam to do quite a bit and still carry out his responsibilities in the United States Senate. <clears throat> Is that it? Does the, does the lack of consensus religious conservative leaders say anything about the state of the movement? I don't, you know, people are trying to draw those sort of conclusions. I just think you have a wide open primary. Uh, and I don't think the, the, uh, the faith community is uh, divided as much as they're undecided. Uh, there are different uh, options that are available here. And uh, the movement has grown and, and I think a lot of its ideas have permeated uh, within this side of the aisle, and I hope uh, uh, will permeate more into the other side of the aisle, too. I, just, I think you're just seeing the movement really broaden and having, uh, for the first time in a long time, a, a wide open primary. Senator, could you, Senator McCain, could you talk a little bit more about Senator Brownback's impact on and prominence in consulting on Supreme Court justices now and in the future? Well, um, I think it's I think as everyone knows that Sam Brownback is a, a, a very important figure in the family values aspect of American political life. He's been an advocate for it, a, a person who's highly respected and highly regarded. 